Yes, uh, good morning, my people. Welcome to my channel, Global Solution for All Mankind. Thank you for joining me again. Today is another day, and I want to take this opportunity to say thank you all for being uh, good students on this channel. So today is another continuation of uh, our discussion about the prayer of uh, midnight, midnight prayers. So we saw that uh, even Jesus in Mark chapter 1 verse 35 he rose up early in the morning and he went to a solitary place to do his prayer. The time that Jesus rose up, as uh, he was on his uh, practice always and every day, that time is called when the cock crawl. Early in the morning, early, kwa kiswahili naitu alfajiri, early morning. That's the time you used to wake up and you go to make prayer. No more people do um, no more prayers. If you want to be a, a different person, with these things, you have to do different things. Okay? These divisions, as I told you, you can see uh, again in Mark 13, 35. It talks about the division of the night. <clears throat> division of the night. Now, division of the night, the part of the sacrificial time, which is the midnight and when the cock is crowing. That part is a sacrificial time. It's like a God is calling. When God is calling people, it's like God is calling people into assignment. It's a night of calling. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 19. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 19. I want to read a scripture with you. Um, let's see what the Bible says uh, about midnight prayer. Now, in verse 19, it says, Arise, cry out in the night. In the beginning of the watches, pour out your heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards him for the life of your young children that faints for hunger in the top of every street. You see, that scripture is a calling of God. He is calling us to rise up and speak on behalf of our children on the things that are going on around our life. So these are particular very, very important time because this is a time when a transition of the night and the day is taking place. It is a time of transition God wants us to do this time of transition to build a day or to move the week or to make things look like the way we want them to look like. We have to use that particular time. Prayer of midnight is a sacrificial prayer. It is a time where it's very, very important to do spiritual deployment of services. Now, in that midnight, if you have a struggling case, 
If you have a struggling case, you have a, a stubborn case. These types of recipes that you need to use a coconut. If you want to use a coconut in the area of the battle, you can wake up in the midnight. Wake up in the midnight and take a coconut and make your request. Make your prayers and break it in the midnight somewhere. You see where the problem is? Rules, regulations, conditions. That's where the problem is. Majority of us, we say, uh -huh, why, why midnight? Some of us who say, why we have to go and break it outside? Why not inside? But this is how to move these things. In the midnight, that particular time is a special time. Prayers you do in the daytime, they are different with the midnight. This particular time is a time where even God in the Bible, the Bible says he showed Moses his ways and his people or children of Israel, he showed them his works. You see, there are two category people. One part of people, God shows his ways. In another people, he shows the works. So, Moses knew how to buy this time of midnight. And the Lord was able to show and reveal his ways to Moses. But to his people, he showed his action. There are things God will do in the life of people who are midnight signature. Those that wake up in the midnight and begin to watch in prayer. There are things that God will show them. There are ways the Lord will reveal to them. There are secrets that will be revealed to them. The Bible says in the book of Daniel that in the midnight, the secret was revealed to Daniel. I pray that as you do any spiritual recipe dimension that I teach here, the secret of Jehovah will be revealed to you on how you are going to deal with mat that matter. In Psalms 50 and verse 5 to 6, there is something that God is going to do in the life of the people that wake up in the midnight. Psalms 50 verse 5. Now I'm reading. Gather my saints together to me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. These are the people that wake up in the midnight. These are the people that deploy recipes in the midnight. These are the people that are ready to pay the price of sacrifice in the midnight. The Bible says, gather for me these people. This type of people, God has a word. Because they are in a covenant of sacrificial with the Lord. And God has a word for these people. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness for God is judge himself. You see, heaven shall declare the righteousness of God for these people. These are the people that God is talking about. So I want you to know that the egg recipe, if you do it in the midnight, it will have more result than doing in daytime. Coconut recipe, if you do it in the midnight, it will have more powerful result than daytime. Especially if you are dealing with the altars, if you are reversing a curse, if you are reversing an arrow that people send against you, please wake up early in the morning and deploy this recipe at this particular time 
<clears throat> you shall see the hand of God. Heaven will declare your righteousness. God bless you this morning. I have spoken to you. And I believe by the grace of God. Greater things that the Lord have bestowed for you. Your case will turn around in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. Join my people here. And we gather together for this discussion of the covenant of the midnight prayer. We shall see changes in our life and in our families. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.